So with the pupils that we have with long-term health conditions, we um, tend to put PEPs in place, which are those personalised education plans, um, to ensure that we're meeting the needs of that individual pupil, because we're well aware that for each pupil the needs that they'll have from the school will be different. Um, you know, the, um, the diagnosis that they have and the way that that presents will be different, and we realise that actually we need to learn from them what it is that they need from us. And we work along with the pupil um, and the parent and usually um, the specialist involved to work out what we can do best to support that individual. We used to have meetings every six weeks or so where we basically put together ideas of what we're going to do mm -hmm. and what lessons to do per week. It's important that pupils there as well because as with anything you know we have a view of what we think might be best for the pupil. The parent has a view but that pupil has a view as well and sometimes that may be where conversations get a little bit tricky at times because you know we, we all think we want the best for the individual but we need to hear from them. They let me do a lot of work at home and they emailed me a whole year of work for one subject so that was useful because I could just do it all at home. So have you taken any exams at school? Yeah, I took my English, Maths and Science. And did you have any special arrangements for those? Um, I had extra time and I was allowed rest breaks in between. And did that help? Yeah, definitely, especially the extra time. Sometimes there are actions that we put in place and sometimes those actions are very sim simple actions like having a time out cab that if they're in lessons and they're feeling tired rather than having to explain to the teacher you know, I've got this diagnosis and what I'd like to do is go out they can just present that card and leave the classroom and we give them those um, simple things that mean that they're understood and they can go to somebody who they trust to speak rather than having to speak to lots of different people. I've read online that the experiences aren't always great they're not getting the support and the plans put into place with the education system um, so they're, they're more um, it's just added more stress when they're sort of questioning why the children aren't in school um, it may be a lack of awareness that you know they've not heard of the illness don't know how it affects the children don't appreciate that it's very difficult for them to get in and do a full day of school um, so having those plans in place were, was a great help for us well, for, the, for all of our pupils who've ended up on part-time timetables, they will always include and involve some social time interaction because we're fully aware that actually just getting them in in the morning to attend lessons and going home fulfils that need that they have for their curriculum but it doesn't fulfil that social um, gap that they have and the more that they're off, the more pupils and friends will question why they're not in. Can you imagine what it would have been like then if you had a school that didn't believe you were poorly and... What might that have meant for you? It would have been very stressful. I probably would have failed everything, or nearly everything. Um, it would have just been a lot harder to do it.